Hello folks, how's everybody doing tonight? This is Matt from Humby's Hive. Tonight we're going to be cutting a resurrection scene for Easter. It's coming up this weekend. This is going to be uh, the, the mountain in the hill. And then the tomb is right here where Jesus would be buried. Um, I've got all the pieces cut out. Got some figures cut out too to cut out also. So we're going to be cutting on the Pegasus bandsaw today. Um, and so why don't I get started? If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Back part of the mountain out first. So here's our first piece. This is going to be the back of the mountain for the tomb, where the tomb is going to lie. And then we're going to cut. Each additional piece is going to come out a little bit. Um, as you can see, the next layer, layer down, and then the stone is going to be right there. So I think I saw some... So just to give you a better view what this will look like. So those two pieces are going to be stacked in front of one another. And then the next ones are going to then again go in front of that. So just in case I wasn't explaining myself well enough. And you know what? I think I want to cut this even deeper. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks better. Just a little bit, a little bit deeper and two layers. But yeah, so I think that looks all right. So now we'll cut out the figures. And what I plan to do with these um, is these lines I'm going to cut into segments and then I'm going to round them over, soften them up with the rotary tool. Um, stain them and then glue them back together. Uh.
So it's kind of like a puzzle once you get it all cut. As you can see, got all the pieces. And then I'll, like I said, I'll soften these edges up and uh, with the rotary tool. And then when I glue them all back together, it'll give it a little bit more dimension, so. Now the angel is cut out. Okay, so if you're just tuning in or if you watch from the beginning, I appreciate it. So this is um, the tomb where Jesus laid. Um, I have an angel that I'll be uh, using the rotary tool on. And we have Mary, a couple of Marys by the by the tomb also. So, like I said, I'm going to uh, soften these edges up a little bit with the rotary tool, and I can do that. So, if um, anyone's not familiar with the Marathon rotary tool, here it is. Um, it's 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 great. It's very uh, much like a Dremel, um, although I think it's better. Um, it's got a dial on the front. Um, it also comes with a foot switch. You can switch it over there. Um, changing bits is super easy on this. It's simply uh, twisting this center chuck right here. You can hear it. Lock and unlock. Pull your bit out. Slide the new bit in that you want to use. And then lock it into place and it doesn't come out.
All right, so you can kind of see that that's, that softens up the edges a little bit on that. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Uh, we'll finish that up in the next day or so and then uh, post some pictures. So, I appreciate it. Oh, that's really close. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody, for watching. Um, uh, thanks for everybody's support, and I hope you enjoyed it. You guys uh, have a good holiday, and we'll see you. Bye.